Uh, continued networking, though, that's one of the part of this onboarding experience. You are all colleagues together um, in Mahalo, and so that's one of the things here is networking with our faculty, our current students, our staff, but, but also uh, with each other, both within your teams and outside your teams. Remember, you have this, a, a networking scavenger hunt, so you're supposed to find out interesting things about the people that you're talking with. Uh, to be competing for prizes given away tonight. I'll remind you again uh, in the uh, opening session in a few minutes. But again, thanks for coming, and in a couple minutes we'll be going over to Casino 2. I would say that for many of you, particularly if you're changing careers, maybe you had some exposure through your IT work to accounting, now you want to get into accounting, in that first job or two, Actually, what you know and your ability to do the work is going to be quite important because the company will hire you because they need some work to be done. And if you don't come in with a big Rolodex of contacts, that's okay. If you go to a public accounting firm, they will expect you to be able to do some work for these clients and on the different accounts. Now, over time, as time goes on, if you want to become a partner, if you want to become a manager, they'll start to assess you. Well, does this person know some people outside of the company? Do they have the ability to bring some work into our firm? Whether it's a big accounting firm or a smaller firm, the ability to generate business is an important aspect. And your ability to generate business will not be specifically who you know today, but your ability to meet people, to cultivate relationships. Welcome to the Academic Success Session. Um, this portion of the Welcome Seminar is designed to help you with academic success um, as a graduate student. Um, I'd like to introduce you to Carissa. She is the new admit advisor, and she will be helping you in your first semester here at Cal State Fullerton in the M MBA program. Um, if you look at the description on your syllabus, um, what this session will do, it will provide you with the ability to actually learn how to use the essentials um, from the graduate student handbook, the catalog. It will also help you in setting your goals, reaching decisions, and actually achieving those goals that you set. Um, you'll have the opportunity to create an educational plan today, and it will be based on your advising work worksheet, your aspirations, your interests, and values. We all know that once you're doing your MBA, you realize that no, not all MBAs are doing the same thing. There's enormous, massive amounts of variety in what you can do with the MBA degree. But the problem is the MBA degree itself is kind of like a commodity that everybody else can get, and there's lots of them getting it. So you have to distinguish yourself from the herd by not being a sheep, but being more like you're going to be around. getting hired by people who are experts, who know their business, who know what they do. And they're going to be able to distinguish your marks and, and what makes you unique and what sets you apart. <laughs> We had an enhancer, enhancer, slot switcher, a switcher, a switcher, a uh, drifter explorer, and a switcher explorer. So we all kind of, we saw that we kind of all put in our little uh, groups of themselves. Your first uh, assignment, you're going to go to a flip chart, make sure you're on the right page, and you're going to fill out the following questions. Take a couple minutes to maybe get to know people. That's going to be your home base. 
And then in a minute, once you've done that, then I'm going to give you further instructions about um, how the activity is structured for you to then meet people who aren't. Okay, you are going to get to play the role of an interviewer in an interviewee, okay? And there will be six rounds in total, three rounds where you will be interviewing somebody who is not from your home base, and then three rounds where you will be interviewed by somebody who is not at your Round home one, base. red stars, you are looking to interview a blue star. Silver stars, you are looking to interview a gold star. Okay, so go ahead and mix and mingle. I need a gold star. Actually, what do you expect from classmates was part one, and then what do you expect from faculty? Right. Overwhelmingly, networking absolutely was number one. Everybody, even if that wasn't really the question, that seemed to come into play. Everyone worked that in friendships, networking, <coughs> stretching out those ends. Okay, good. And well, and that's interesting. I mean, that you're you're looking at this opportunity as a networking uh, opportunity within your Absolutely. class of students. In addition to the skills, but meeting the people is key. Yes, yes, because you never know when one of you might be seeking out another person in this room. Um, but the, this is so much important, is, is the, the contacts you make. You have no idea the person sitting next to you, what impact they're gonna have you know, on your life and your career two, three, four years down the road. You have no idea how to predict that, so just take advantage of every opportunity that you have. Now, we're going to have uh, some fun tonight. We're going to do some uh, talking. Uh, there's uh, some food for you to continue digging into. Someone asked, is this our hors or dinner? And I said, yes. So uh, continue to have fun, continue to talk uh, with our faculty, with our